Hello world, Shelly here, and it's time for another episode of Foundation Fest, and today I am coming at you already starving for a sandwich, and I haven't even started filming yet. We're going to check out a K-Beauty brand. This one's been a hit on Amazon for quite some time. It is from Age 20s. Let me get the title right. This is the, oh, I'm already losing my place. Suns, the Signature Essence Sunscreen BB and CC Cream SPF 50 Plus. Retails for around $34. It is a cushion compact and comes in the typical three shades that the K-Beauty products often come in. I've got shade number 23. We are going to take a look at this one and let's see what they are describing it as. They do have a coupon on Amazon right now, but you know, I don't know how long those last. So if you happen to catch the coupon, is there no description? Like, is that just a thing? It's made for dry skin, natural finish. There's no words. There's pictures. Three in one, Latte Essence. 71% Essence Latte provides a radiant makeup look, color correction, and buildable coverage all at once. One very cool thing about these, this brand seems to do this with all their cushion compacts. That price includes a refill cushion for the compact as well. So you get two cushions of a product. This has Pro Vitamin B5 for moisturization. And that looks to be about all they say. I usually wear shade 21 in the K-Beauty products, but when I ordered this, they didn't have that shade in stock. They do have that shade in stock now, at least on Amazon. So let's check out shade 23. It might be a little too dark for me, but let's check it out and compare it to some swatches in my collection. Swatch time. First up is today's foundation from age 20s, the Essence BBCC Cream SPF 50 Compact in shade 23. Second, I've got from Estee Lauder, the Double Wear Stay in Place in 1C1 Cool Bone. Third up is Max Studio Sculpt in NW15. And last, I've got from Wet n Wild, the Tinted Hydrator in Fair. I've already cleansed, moisturized, and sunscreened this 48-year-old face. They give you a little foam thingamajig to apply. I usually don't use those. We have that snap cover. You always wanna make sure that in any kind of compact makeup, you firmly snap those back because that's what keeps the moisture intact. I did already touch it. So the fingerprint you might see was me. It did not come that way. Very, very pretty. I'm sad that I will ruin it. I'm gonna use a sponge. It's a dry sponge, but I did spray a little of the Tatcha Dewy Mist on there just to moisten it up a little bit. And let's see how this goes, shall we? No primer today. Maybe this isn't too dark. All right, all right, all right. Maybe not. Ooh, it is heavily scented. It's, uh, it smells clean. It just smells like clean, clean scent is how I would describe it, but whoo, she's strong, y'all. She's strong, she's strong, it's perfumey, just a little bit perfumey here. I love how this feels. <laughs> this feels so smooth and hydrating. I'm kind of putting it on more than I probably should. Let's, let's get back into doing this properly. I'm gonna try to get might as well take it on my eye because it feels so nice. All right, half the face. Uh, that is a surprising amount of coverage, I think. Uh, I was not expecting such coverage. That tends to be the case. Why am I squeaking at you? That tends to be the case with um, my, my one favorite, the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. They call it BB Cream, but I mean, that stuff has foundation coverage for me. I mean, that's just, that's foundation to me. That's not BB cream. Like, I don't know what it is, but it seems like the US brands tend to make BB creams lighter coverage and other places do not make BB creams lighter coverage. Uh, Cause that's some coverage. I, that's some, some coverage is happening. And uh, I wouldn't kick it out of bed for eating crackers. I'm all right with that. Let's 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 do this thing. Let's do this thing. 
sometimes, see, you can get some coverage in there. The only thing I'm noticing is that you really want to smear all these colors together because when you apply it to the skin, you can kind of see where the, uh, you'll get like a little bit lighter and it's a little darker down here. Like you want to make sure you're combining that swirliness so that it doesn't look like uneven color on your skin. But I'm digging the heck out of how this feels. This feels the way I was hoping that, what was that? Uh, the CoverGirl one, the Olay one. Like this is what it, I hoped that felt like. And that one didn't, wasn't, wasn't so cooperative. Like this is just spreading out really easily. It's just, it feels super hydrating, like taking it all down my neck because it feels so good. It feels so nice. It feels so nice. And it is building up. Like the more I go in, like I am getting coverage out of this. Let's do the blue blood vessel. Like I might even be applying too much, but I'm just so excited. <laughs> Cause it looks so nice. Let's get my sunspots, just a little more coverage over on the sunspots. Yeah, this is, this is foundation to me. That's, that's foundation level coverage. I don't know why my eyelid is peeling right now. I'm using this as concealer as well, so I'm just taking it everywhere. Make sure that snaps. All right, let's take a look at this. It's dewy finish, not super, not shiny. I would call it luminous. It is dewy for sure. Good level of coverage. Let's zoom in, get a good look at this one. I feel like it's a nice dewy finish. My concern would be, is it gonna move around without setting with powder? Cause I really don't set anything with powder anymore. But aside from just make sure you get even color mix of that swirly thing. You know, I've, I'm blending out a few areas that I saw that I didn't have a good mix, but it's clinging just a tiny bit to some little peeling skin I have on my chin and on my cheek, but the very, very smallest amount. For the amount of coverage I'm getting, I feel like it could be so much worse. Normally coverage products really cling to the edges of dry skin and this one's only doing it the tiniest bit. So I am impressed with that. My thought is that because it is such a sort of moisturized formula, such a, such a luminous formula that that may even decrease as this kind of sets down and becomes one with my skin. So I'm liking that. I'm very much enjoying the coverage. It's not settling into lines. It doesn't seem to be caking up anywhere. It actually looks really smooth on pores and texture. Like I, I think it's a very, very nice skin like, but you know, coverage, you know, the, the finish looks skin like, but there's definitely coverage. So you're going to come back in with your blush and bronzer and all that stuff. I'm digging this. I'm digging this. This is this is a good start. This is a good start. I'm pretty excited about this. I also love the pearlescent sort of. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but this cut this case is so pretty, so pretty. It's like the kind that I would leave on my vanity so I can see it all the time. Let's check the time. Speaking of, it is 2:26. Let me go put the rest of my face on. I will be right back. Back with the Age 20s foundation. Very pleased with how this is going so far. I did not have to set it with powder. I had no trouble blending anything. It's not moving around. It's not settling into lines. Everything is looking pretty smooth and happy and I'm, I'm okay with where we're at right now. So, so far, so good. Knock on wood. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. I'm eyes. Tiny Marvels, this is the Sydney Grace Mel Thompson, rest in peace collaboration. And I did use my Roll A Look eyeshadow app to generate this dark and moody eye look today. I will have that link down below if you are interested in joining my Patreon to gain access to the app or to just kick me a couple 
bucks for helping me out and I appreciate all of you. You guys are awesome. On my, that was that. What else did I wear today? I moved all my stuff around and why did I do that? That was a bad idea. I usually keep everything I wore right in front of me and now there's chaos. Oh, here we go. It's hiding. Good, oh my goodness gracious. I told you I'm starving. I'm like, what is that? Like blood sugar is low or something? Like I need to go eat a sandwich right now. Hula bronzer. Why am I wearing that? Let me tell you. All right. You know I keep my broken flower heat wave bronzer just sitting right here on my vanity and I'm using it and I love it and I love it. It's beautiful, right? I'm having trouble finding a replacement. And a couple of you have mentioned to me that you too have been having trouble finding it. Has it been discontinued? I don't know, but I'm trying to mentally prepare myself for the fact that I might not have access to this for much longer. So I dug out my Benefit Hula Bronzer, which then I saw my Benefit Shelly Blush. Shelly, hee hee hee, get it? Like my name, except they spell it differently. This blush is something that if I look in the pan, I would have never been like, ooh, I should wear that because it's so corally looking in the pan, but it really comes out nicely on the skin. And not surprisingly, it's very well color coordinated with the Hula Bronzer, so they look really good together. So I am wearing those. My brows are again, the Lawless Brow Products. My mascara, I tried something new today. Lower line, lower lashes are the MAC Giga Black. That's not new. Well, it's kind of new. It's a little bit new, but I tried it for the first time and really liked it. The Calare Come Hell or High Water Mascara. Mm-hmm. They're a clean brand. So basically, I didn't like the, what was it, foundation BB cream that I tried very much, but their primer is my new favorite primer, and I really like this mascara. So I'm digging their, their makeup products, maybe not the complexion products as much. Lawless Brow has been my jam. This, and then I put my, my e.l.f. brow lift on top to hold the fluffiness that's going on. This, this I like this shade. This is Pecan in the pencil and it's the medium dark of the brow wax. Bravo, my lip is Color Street Holly, one of the diamond dusted lipsticks, which gives it a little bit of a, there's a shimmer in there. What else, am I wearing anything else? I think that's all the things. I think that's, I didn't wear any highlight today. Hmm, I figured my face is so glowy from the foundation that I think I don't need the highlight. I think I got enough bling happening. So that is where we are starting out. I'm gonna go get that sandwich. I'm gonna come back with a daylight check-in in in a little bit, and then I will come back tonight, give you guys my final thoughts. Oh no, 6.15, I missed the daylight check-in. There's almost no daylight left. This is outdoor check-in at least. Shade match seems fine. I'm getting a little shadow from my porch lights. So this is a combination outdoor slash porch light check-in. Definitely a nice dewy finish, but it's it's an amount of dewiness that I like. Yeah, that's, that's where we're at, shade match wise. I'll be back tonight, we'll wrap this one up. 12.29 a.m. if you can see that because my phone says I'm supposed to be in bed by now. That puts us around the 10 hour mark. But let's take a look at how the age 20s held up. I wonder is that like age 20s like they're implying that you are in your 20s like in that decade of life? I don't know. But I think this held up really well. I did start the day with my eyelid wanting to peel and that went away and I ended the day with my chin wanting to peel. Uh, I don't know why I'm shedding like a snake. I already shed like a snake like two weeks ago. So I don't know what's going on with my shedding issue, but everything else, blush bronzer highlight, no, I skipped the highlight, blush and bronzer, not only are they intact, but I am really happy with how smooth my cheeks look. And this side, especially where I have more texture and sun damage going on, my skin looks really smooth with this foundation. And it is the foundation because I know my skin is not that smooth on this side of my face. Let's zoom in and get a look at how this one is doing up close. I did have to blow my nose, surprise, surprise. Uh, I really should start taking my allergy medicine and I haven't yet, but uh, I'm in denial as I tend to be because it is February. <laughs> 
Yep, tangent. Here we go. Uh, so yeah, ignore my nose. I did blow my nose. Uh, the product, it, the areas that look like they caked up, it really is my skin wanting to peel. Like I have little bubbles, almost like a, the way sunburn peel happens. And that happens to me every other month or so. But like, I don't, I don't know what already happened a couple weeks ago. So I don't know why I'm still peeling. But that is that. That's my skin, not the product really. And yeah, everything stayed put really nicely. I really like the dewy finish. I fear sometimes with products like this that start out so dewy that they're gonna get to the point where they look greasy by the end of the night. And I don't think that happened. I really don't think the level of dewiness changed much at all throughout the day. So I think it, it stayed kind of the way it was when it was applied, which I really liked how it looked when it was applied and I like how it looks now. Being at the 10 hour mark, I would say we still have maybe a little bit of life left in this foundation. If I wasn't peeling on my chin, I would I would think it still looked quite good considering a full day of wear. I also just spent three hours working on my taxes with my three businesses and my, my employment. So uh, there was a lot of <laughs> like touching of my face and and putting my hand on my head and like all kinds of things like that. So I think it held up really well. Uh, taxes. Whew, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. The only thing I have left to put in is my mortgage information. So I can't find the form. I don't know what I did with it. I got to go download it again. Oh my goodness gracious. Why? 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 And doing your taxes when there's a kitten that wants to play fetch with a straw is just not the most fun. <laughs> She's locked out of the room right now. All the cats are locked out of the room right now because I was trying to do my taxes. <laughs> That's why you're not getting any camera. Oh, I think Ziva might be in here. Did she jump up here at the end? Was, was she just was she just here? I don't even I don't even notice her anymore. Like when she jumps on my chair, unless she starts scratching it, I hear a sound. Oh, yep, there she is. There she. Okay, Ziva's still in here. You're a ninja. You're a ninja. Come here, ninja. Come here, ninja baby. <laughs> she thinks she's still tiny. She thinks she's still tiny. You're huge. You're huge. You're huge. You're huge. All right, well, no one's going to like when you put your butt in their face. Like, okay, lay down. Lay down. Go see them. Lay down. So. <laughs> oh, she's going to eat my ear. Ah, oh, you guys. Why? If I had to give a grade to the age 20s, this is how she sits. The first time I met her, she climbed up on my shoulder just like this, but she was tiny. And so she still tries to do it. Look at this, look at this huge beast. Look at this beast. You're a beast. You're a beast. If I had to give a grade to the age 20s, I gotta give it an A. I really like it. It gets a very consistent four out of five stars on Amazon. And I can see why. I think it's gonna be great for dry skin. It feels wonderful. Like super moisturizing. Works even when my skin is literally flaking off of my face. I really enjoy the coverage. I love the undertones of these. The, the hard part is gonna be whether or not you can find a shade match within the three shades that they typically have. They really only cater to the fair. Fair to light skin tones, you really don't even get into medium. I know they call their darkest shade medium, but I would say it's like the dark end of light. So that's a challenge. It is pretty common with the K-Beauty brands, but I'm going to go A. I really, really, really like it. I also really like that they give you a refill for the compact. So while it may seem like a prestige price for a, a cushion-based foundation, you're getting double the product as you would in a single pack. So I like that. I, I'm I'm a fan. I like it. What do you think, Ziva? She's smelling it. She says it doesn't smell like anything now. She she <laughs> I'm anthropomorphizing my cat. Yes, yes. I know. I know go Ziva baby. She's actually pretty excited that the kitten is locked out because that means she gets a little bit of peace. Peace and quiet with no baby kitty here. Don't bite my face. 
whoever raised her, so she was sick when she was first born, and of her siblings, of the four kittens, she got pneumonia when she was like three weeks old. I didn't have her adopted yet. And she and her, the, the four kittens were raised and bottle fed by a foster because the mom had been killed. And so whoever raised her must have done some kind of thing with like boop in the nose or the face or something. Because what she does is she goes to like nip my nose with her mouth. But now her mouth has grown up big cat teeth. And she ends up biting my nose. Like, she bites my nose. And I can tell that it's not a bite. Like, it's a it's a love nip. Like, they must have had some kind of cute little nip thing. Like, little nosy nose thing. Well, she bites my freaking nose. And so that is why one of the phrases... You know, the things you never thought you'd hear yourself say on a regular basis, but one of them is, don't bite my face. So, when she goes for the nose, I have to say, don't bite my face. Don't bite my face. Don't bite my face. You watch. She's going to... Oh, 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 no, no, no. Okay, we're not... I was going to show them, but no. You're being weird. You're being weird. All right. It's enough chatting with the cat. Do you guys get your Ziva fix? I know. She comes up here when the lights are on. She knows. She knows that means people are going to talk about her. I always tell her whenever you guys say hi, Ziva, in the comments, I always tell her. And she knows it. Like, she can tell when I'm doing YouTube stuff. Because I give her all the love from you guys. I know, don't bite my face. Do not bite my face. So, there you have it. Another episode of Foundation Fest and Chat with Ziva is in the books. I now have cat hair all over my nose. If you like Foundation Reviews, if you had fun with this one, give me a thumbs up down below. Let me know in the comments, what would you like to see next? Where are all the Spring Foundation Reviews? I feel like... We should have some, not reviews, but launches. Like the all the new releases for spring, I feel like we're due. Where are they? I'm, I'm very anxiously waiting because I, have, I don't have any other foundations here to review. What am I going to do next week? I need, I need foundations. It's rare that I don't have a foundation, like, in the pipeline. I don't know. Maybe I got to go to the store again. Maybe I'm... Maybe I just need to go to Sephora or CVS or Ulta. I don't know. Is this, should I go shopping? Should I go shopping? <laughs> should I sit down one day and just have like a QA and a with Ziva and you guys can just talk to my cat? I know. I know, Ziva. You're famous. You're famous. You could have your own channel. You could have your own channel. Okay. See, it's way too late. It's way past my bedtime. I have to get up super early tomorrow. Safe light is coming in the morning. They gave me a window. Now I'm just chatting with you guys. If you made it this far, you, you have good YouTube nonsense watching stamina. Look at all this cat hair. Safe light's coming to replace my windshield. Because I had a giant crack in it. And uh, the, the window of time they gave me tomorrow, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. They'll be here sometime between those hours. I'm like, that's that's not a window. That's an entire work day. <laughs> so I have to be up very early. I'm not happy about that. That's early for me. I don't usually get up before 9. All right. Let's wrap this up. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed, shall we? As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time, and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other, right, Ziva? Take care of each other. She's not responding. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.